Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is the first impression again as you see and this time it is with the last Futurism palette from Kaleidos Makeup and it is Electric Turquoise and I <laughs> talked about this in my latest video when I did my first impression with the VR Neon palette and I got this sent to me in PR from Kaleidos and I am so grateful, I am so happy, I still can't believe that this happened and um, it feels so cool and I love Kaleidos as a brand, they are such a good brand, best customer service ever. So yeah, I talk a little bit more about this in my video day that came up on Friday so I can leave it up here and I think I will leave all my Kaleidos futurisms futurism videos down in the description or up in card I should be able to put them up in the card so this is the electric turquoise this is a number Five. I really hope that this isn't the end of the Futurism collection because I love it. So the palette looks like this. This is a shimmer or it's not a matte palette, it's a shiny palette. The other ones are matte. Really love it. It feels... Wait, the only thing, it feels like I'm going to drop it because it's a little bit more slippery. But the palette looks like this and now I have the names on. That it looks like this. I really love how this is representing like the whole package. Really love it. So I'm going to do what I always have done with my first impression <laughs> with my Kaleidos makeup. I'm going to use all the six shades and I think I know what I want to do. I just really don't know what I'm going to do with this brown. But the other ones... I figured out what I want to do. I'm going to zoom you in and then we just get started. And if you're wondering about my hair, I like really don't know what to do with my hair. Which color I should have it in. And <laughs> this polo turtleneck, it looks like I got a double shadow with this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to do a pretty normal look with this. Or a pretty simple look. Last one was so colorful. Okay, so I'm going to start out with Force Field. This one and put it in my crease. I like want Kaleidos to keep doing these palettes like forever and ever and ever. Okay, so my first impression of this shade, it is a little bit greener than I expected it to be. But it's... I have nothing against it. I guess that this is turquoise. I am like so bad with colors. And it's going to be fun to see if this is going to be my favorite palette from Kaleidos. I don't think so though because the neon one Really my jazz. But I didn't think that the sci-fi green that has always been my favorite. I didn't think that that was going to be my favorite, but it is. Not now because now it's the neon, but it was my favorite before I tried the neon. And I didn't think that because green... Okay, green has starting to become something that I really like. I hated green eyeshadow before, but now kind of like it. Okay, and today I'm actually going to do a halo eye. Because you know me. Okay, so I will start with, I think it's called Digital. Like digital, but digital. And I'm going to take this out here and in here. And now I'm going to see. Ooh. I did a collab with Betty Jean a long time ago where we did a monochromatic look and she gave me teal and 
then I noticed that I don't have a lot of things that is teal, but this one, I guess this this is teal and I like this one. It was really like opaque at first, like immediately, but it wasn't any problems to blend it out and it feels like I am pretty satisfied with my halo like this. I love that. That I think can sometimes be hard when you're doing a halo eye to do like the inner shade here because usually all colors aren't like this opaque when you just put your brush down but I think this is so it's easier to do the inner part of the halo if you don't have to like pack the shadow on and blend it out too much because I don't have that much lid space I think I have pretty small eyes I don't actually know but I think I have pretty small eyes I don't have big eyes at least maybe I have normal eyes but as you can see I can just like press the brush down and it is colors right away so I think I'm satisfied with this and then I'm going to take throne throne this shimmer and put it in my halo and I will try without any glitter glue because <laughs> when I did with the neon palette it was enough on the brush and didn't need any glitter glue and this is pretty packed on the brushes okay now we're going to see Ooh. What I like about this new shimmer shades or what little shades, I'm so sorry, I'm so bad to like know what they are. It's like when you first put it down, it's like a topper shade, like the first layer. It's super easy to build up, but it's like a top topper first and I think that is really good when you're doing halo because then you can blend it together with the other shade better <laughs> it sounds like I'm such a professional of halo eyes I think I should be because I do a lot of halo eyes okay not a lot but I do some halo eyes and I don't think that I am that good that I am supposed to be but Okay, and I think I will just go in a little bit with this digital, just to fix this a little bit. And I'm going in with the force field, the one that I had in my crease, and now it's itching on my nose. The one I had in my crease and just take it a little bit in here, just like press it on. Because it feels like I missed a little bit and I do it on this side as well. Okay. The only thing I feel with these new shimmers are that they... I get a little bit more fallout but they are a little bit more glittery. So I guess it's because of that. I really don't mind because I never do my base first. So yeah. But if you do do your base first maybe you should secure with some powder underneath your eyes okay so I'm just going over with my crease brush in my crease just to have everything together and I'm not adding any colors so I will take away the fallout fix my base under my brows and then I will come back and we have three shades left so we have this dark brown that I really don't know what I want to do with I'm thinking about if I want to deep down here but I'm not going to do that the orange and this shimmer so I will fix my base and my brows now I have like how did I get shimmer here I will fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we use the last three shades and going to be done with this look and now I see it just want to blend a little bit here so I will fix base and brows I have said it like five times now and so yeah 
I will come back soon. So the base and the crazy brows are on. I When I did this brow, I poked myself with this too far in and I couldn't get it off. So I had to do the same with this and now they're just like... Hello, we are the crazy brows. So crazy brows, yes. Here we are. <laughs> Okay, I am going to start with my under eyes. I will take this orange one and put it on my whole lower lash. I like this orange. Yeah, I really like this orange. Okay, so like that and I have to use the brown one. This one and I think I will just take it on my outer corners, both on the lid and on the lower lash. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. This was like super pigmented, like super. I just dip it in once, tapped it off, and it feels like I still got a lot. Yeah, and if you wonder if I am a little bit more lost than I usually am, that's because it's pretty late, it's 10 o'clock p.m. and my brain is not like working. Okay, maybe this isn't like late late, but I usually don't record this late because the voice. So yeah, now I have used all the colors except for this silver shimmer and I will of course take it in my inner corner and I will try without spraying. Okay, I think I will spray this because I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to be all over if I doesn't spray it. Okay, I thought that this was going to be like silver because it looks like a silver in the pad. But it's like, have some gold in it and some fallouts. Mm, I hate when I fuck it up. So, okay, I will do my... I will take something in the waterline, put something on my lips and also some mascara. And then I will come back with a, the finished look and a little short review with electric turquoise. So this is the finished look for my watch line. I used so Sulu from Colourpop. For my lips I used NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. And yeah, I like this look. I feel that the orange was an interesting orange. I like the shimmers in this one as well. And this, I think it's called Shockwave. This one, it is more gold than I expected it to be. So I think it's like a gold and silver. I'm not going to try to do this. And I really like this one as well. And this teal one. Love it. I think that maybe you think that I have something against the brown because I have talked about this before. I feel that in some of the palettes it is like one or two shades that could, ha could have been something more. But I have nothing against this brown. The little I tried it, it was super pigmented. So it's going to be so fun to do something more with this brown. So yeah, I really like this palette as well. The shadows are as good as the other palettes and I just love Kaleidos. So yeah, that was all. I think I said this with in my review of the first three palettes and I still feel the same. It's I think all the five palettes are as good as the studio has light. Okay, never record at night again. Note to myself. I feel that all the palettes have the same quality, so if you want any of these palettes, just buy the one with the color scheme you like, 
or the color scheme you want because they all have the same quality. Yeah, the fly is still here. Um, they all have the same quality. They work as good as all the color, all the colors, all the palettes work as good as the other one. So it's really just depending on what color scheme do you want what colors do you want just buy the palette this one and the vr neon they are a limited edition i really hope that kaleidos will change their mind and keep them forever because i love this futurism thing they are doing so yeah i think i'm just going to shut up now and stop filming because it feels like is just coming out poo from my mouth. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I will do a palette bingo with all the five palettes I have from Kaleidos. It's going to be so fun and I think I will do that soon because I like multi palette bingos but it doesn't feel like I have that many palettes that I can do a multi palette bingo with. And yeah, this fly is so freaking annoying. I think he lives here in the bedroom. Yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I will leave Kaleido's website down in the description if you want to buy any of these palettes. This palette or any of the other palettes. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!